Yo, 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 what's poppin'? Um, hello. How's it going, guys? We're back again with some, uh, Caves of Cud nonsense. Um, oh my god. Let me get my mic out of the way. There we go. Yeah, um... Gonna be building, hopefully, a, a run now that's uh, got some, some legs to it. I don't know exactly what kind of build I, I want to do, but, uh... God, I got a little bit of an idea. Uh, where are we here? Yep, time for some late night cud. Which isn't as dirty as it sounds. Loading it up here. Um, Alright, let's see if this works. Boy, does it work? Okay, we're in. I'm looking at the, the matrix right now. There we go, okay. Right, so, bing bong, let's just jump right in, let's get going. Uh, let's, let's win. New game. Classic. New. Mutant. Um, I would like, please, to do, well, you know what, firstly, I would like to pause the music, and then secondly, I would like to do a short blade agility tinkering scavenger, mm, you know what, let's do the Arcanaut, I think. Ah, nah. Let's let's do the gunslinger. It's a, it's the coolest uh, the coolest sprite. Now I was reading the the change log, and I think that multiple arms now works with multi weapon fighting, aka dual wielding. Um. So I I'm kind of a, I'm I want to do a, a crazy. I want to do like a crazy build for uh, as many arms as we can get. I'm gonna I'm gonna tick Chimera here in the hope that we can sprout some more arms. Oh, you know what would be good is horn horns with multiple arms, four daggers. All using jab and dual wielding with horns for the ultimate short blade build. The ultimate shortbread. There you go. There's the name of the character. It's going to be known as shortbread. Give me, give me tonic allergy. We always take tonic allergy. You know what? I'm going to take irritable genome because the things I I, I pick are going to be. Whichever, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm only going to pick things that I want to level up. So we're going to go irritable genome, and we will take. How about this? We'll take triple jointed. And we will take. I mean, let's take uh. Let's take double muscled because of the, the, the days. I mean, the strength is a nice cherry on top. Honestly, the days is uh, with four arms. And then uh, give me. Honestly, just give me thick fur and night vision for the last two, because these aren't we don't need to level these up. So we irritable genome. Every second uh, mutation point is going to get randomly assigned to one of these four. And because I want to level up all of them, you know, uh, I'm fine with that. So let's do that. Or we could go... We're, well, we don't want to go unstable with Irritable Genome, actually. Never mind. Strike that from the record. Okay, um, what do we want? We want um, some Aggie. And some Stra. I'm some tour. Int. 
Uh, think about int. Willpower. What did I take again? I've already forgotten. Um, we kind of don't really need... Uh, we don't really need any... Uh, well, we do need willpower. We don't need as much as normally. I would like. Same with Ego, really. I like a little bit of Ego. And Lino. How is it going? Long time no see. Unstable works fine with Irritable. It doesn't get the restricted choices. Does it not? When did... Has that always been that way? You know, hooks for feet. Mmm. You know what? Mmm. We could do hooks for feet. I mean, no shoes is kind of rough. But it's funny. Let's do it. It's a short blade, right? We can't wear a helmet and we can't wear shoes. But the midsection, the midsection is going to be good. Uh, 15 in. I don't like that. I just don't like it. Take one from here. Honestly, take one from agility. Yeah. Take 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 one more from ego, you know? I want some skill points this playthrough. It's always been like irritable max unstable has been your go-to chimera. Oh, okay. Well let's give this a whirl, shall we? This guy is gonna be called what did I say? Shortbread? And shortbread is deserving of a lovely, lovely golden shortbread. Delicious. Um, anything else that's more shortbread-like here in this color scheme? No, we're going to go gold. Keep it simple. Keep it secret, keep it safe. You're trying to hold off on the new branch until it's out of beta. Yeah, well, I will be. I'm playing the new branch, and I've been having a whole bunch of fun playing with the new single weapon tree. It's incredibly good. I've been trying stuff out. Um, I wanted to see if getting um, things like rejoinder to work with it. It doesn't quite work properly just yet. Um, but we had a pretty good run uh, on, I think it was Tuesday. No, Monday, when I played some card. We played it for the first time. And I was actually doing a really high agility, high DV, uh, short blade, single-handed short blade build with uh, Rejoinder. It was a lot of fun. I'm kind of going the opposite today. I'm going to take dual wielding, which has been sort of nerfed in in that it now gives uh, you have a lower percentage to strike, but you also it's much cheaper. It's like half the price uh, of what it used to be. Uh, also, apparently now. And please correct me if I'm wrong. Multiple arms actually works uh, alongside uh, the multiple weapon fighting tree, aka dual wield. So uh, I want to try that. Right, let's go horns. Jab is going to be like one of the first thing. It is a great change for sure. It's going to be um, it's going to be interesting. I actually didn't know that Hooks had the same uh, unlimited strength cap. Um, that's really interesting. I mean, they do no damage, but it's a little bonus. Um, yeah. All right. So I'm going to get loads of daggers and I'm going to get jab. It's going to be a hell of a good time. What do we have here? Anything good? We got two wide brim hats. Oh, of course, we can't wear a hat because we've got horns. Yes. There we go. There's dagger number one. I mean, take everything. Why wouldn't I take everything? How have you been in Lino? What have you been up to? I'm currently in the process of making a, a Caves of Cut tutorial, by the way. Um, 
Hopefully that will come out this weekend. I've been learning how to edit. It's been a, a nightmare, to be honest. But, um... Yeah. Hooks are actually not the worst defect. I didn't realise. I, I completely forgot that they, they give you four points. That's actually incredible. They still trigger jab and bloodletter and double muscled stun. Yeah, the, I, I'm really excited to get some points into double muscled because um, the daze is just incredible. Freeze grenade. You didn't see me. You didn't see anything. All right. So um, let's go take Argive's quest real quick. I think the uh, the tree counts as a uh, knickknack here. So yeah. Okay. Good. So we can level up immediately. Level two, baby. Look at that. Uh, study leather armor times two. Hmm, interesting. I want to go kind of heavy into, uh, into DV early game. Oops. Um, equip the leather armor. We got, uh, another bronze dagger. Hey, Istavez, welcome. How's it going? Good to see you again as always. Man, look at me. I'm uh, I'm cooking right now. I got some some good stuff here. Um All right, Mehmet, if that is your real name. Aided by oozes and trees and water barons. That is absolutely fine by me. Have some water, my dude. Teach me some harvestry down the way. Give me a quest. Give me a quest. There we go. I am shortbread. Who are you? A glow sphere. We don't need it. We're too good for a glow sphere right now. Um, I would like some bucklers, but I don't want to pay that much for them. See how much money we can get by selling all of this guff. Fifty-six. Damn. Yeah, our ego is uh, is a little lacking right now. Um, no, that's fine. Just give me the money. Me every Christmas. What do you want for Christmas? Uh, just give me money. You know, anybody else a fan of money uh, at Christmas? Just like by worms, huh? That's fine by me, brother. What about you? Just like by pariahs. Um, that's probably fine. Please slow down. All right, teach me harvestry and then get the hell out of here. Okay. Oh, we got historic sight right off the bat there. Two Reshef law. Are you kidding me? Now we're cooking. Let's go get a second historic sight first. Alright, and just out of curiosity, how far away? One is very close by, right there. The other one, not so much. Could be better. Went to a workshop today because suspension in your car, sometimes not holding its pressure. And boy, spare parts for a Sitchin are hard to get and expensive. Yep, cars, cars really are um, a massive money sink. Um, that's part of the, the beauty of living in a city like London, uh, where there's such uh, incredible public transport, um, is I have no need for a car. Not right now, anyway. Um, please.
Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, by the way, we forgot to spend our points. Um, give me short blade. Give me the short bread. There we go. And let's go. I mean, ooh, there's so many good things to level up. That's that's kind of the problem at this point. Give me horns right now, just for a little extra damage. I'm gonna go grab the uh, the sphere of negative weight, which is I've been playing the the dailies, um, and uploading them to my other. I got a new YouTube channel where I do like. Um, non-vod content and i've been uploading the the dailies and i've been having a blast because the last three dailies have been trukin you know how i feel about trukin generally speaking you know oh that's an electrofuge oh we somehow we got trapped behind it i don't know how that happened okay it doesn't matter it's dead please don't die Level three, baby. All right, give me uh, give me another agility just for an extra bit of DV right there, and then give me jab immediately. All right. Now we're cooking with gas. We got okay. We already have the location of three historic sites um, by level three. That's kind of insane. I'm a big fan. Also, a masterwork staff, huh? Give me it all. Give me everything. I want to go get the sphere of negative weight. If possible. And a desert Chris. Very, very cool. Let them come to me here. There's the days. Big hits. Big hits from a little boy. I don't know what that... And a carbide dagger. Dude, okay. This has been a lucky run so far. Um, You know what? Yeah, sure. Equip the woolly leather moccasins. Oh, no, never mind. We have hooks for feet. And a glow sphere as well. Uh, very cool. I will take the glow sphere. I didn't care about the warhammer. Any of you play uh, Warhammer? Like uh, either 40k or fantasy battles? I really love the lore. But I am not really into the game. I have some friends that are super into it. But it's 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 too much for me. Okay, here we go. No, I mean, we we are a force to be reckoned with at this point. There's one dude in your area that does hydro pneumatic suspensions. You waited two weeks for an appointment just to find out the spare part was broken. What? How did, how is the spare part broken? What's the story? What did they say? What's the story behind that? That sucks, man. I'm sorry. Oh, a chameleon. Scary enemy early game. That was a risky strat right there. Did that chameleon... The chameleon did die. It bled out. Okay, good stuff. As always, what we need to worry about at the moment is uh, slug snouts, and uh, that's about it, really. Let them fire. Okay, they're not approaching. We did just take quite a big hit from the uh, stupid seed-spitting vine right there. And again, immediately, very cool. Oh, 
Oh, big hit. Big hit McGee, they call me. And of course, the uh, the higher our accuracy, sorry, the higher our agility, the better we're going to get at getting those big hits. Stun rod, probably with a, hopefully with a chem cell. Ugh, gross. Are you coming? No, you're just shooting at nothing. Man, the vines, dude, you can't believe it. They're everywhere. Anyway, level four. This time, give me... You know what, give me some, uh, give me some... Give me some... The, the extra melee attack's nice, but I want some days action. I want some strength. Oh, we can go, we can... Okay, I actually forgot to spend our last mutation point. Okay, good stuff. He just said that it arrived broken. Hmm. I mean, that's that's probably true, but that's such a like kind of a crappy excuse. Um. You've been waiting two weeks for that as well, Christ. You know what though? D did they offer you like um a discount or anything for the for the whenever the new one comes in? Because th like that's the least that they could do, because it's not your fault, and it's not necessarily their fault. But as a as a business, you know. Um. I I would feel bad if I didn't. Speaking of feeling bad, I'm currently um. I was on the tube last night, and somebody left their iPhone. An obsidian Chris. I can't believe the luck right now, man. Yeah, somebody left their um, iPhone on the tube and I picked it up and I took it back home. Uh, I tried everything to get it to get in touch with the owner. Um, but because it was in do not disturb mode uh, and it's locked of course um you know i couldn't really do anything with it i couldn't take incoming calls if anybody tried to call it because it's in do not disturb um couldn't turn do not disturb off but today i noticed they somebody on an instagram account a band had messaged them so i messaged the band on inst on instagram i was like hey this is probably quite weird but um somebody you've been talking to has lost their phone and i have it um I did a bit of snooping and I was like, oh, also the uh, the guitarist also from your band has also messaged this person. Um, and then I, there was one picture I could see on the phone, on the on the iPhone. If you swipe uh, right, there's like a tiny picture that comes up from like, um, it kind of picks a random picture to show you. And I sent them a picture and they were like, oh, that dude is a, a friend of the guitarist. So now I've got in contact with them, finally. And hopefully tomorrow I can return it. And that's my good deed for the year done then. But I, I spent like, honestly, I spent like an hour researching, like, is there a way I can get this back to somebody? Um, Let's rapidly advanced. Let's rapidly advance Horn. For Omega damage. Um, they didn't charge for today's visit. Okay, well, I guess that's something, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy that I got it. Because, you know, like... 
if that happened to me, I would be honestly like devastated. So it feels good that I can reunite somebody with their their phone because you you know you never know like what kind of stuff people keep on their phone. You know, it could be like photos that they they cherish and they don't have any other copies of. My so my first idea actually was kind of smart. I thought I I took a picture with their phone because you can still use the camera. I took a picture with their phone of my phone and I wrote a little note on it and said, "Hey, I have your phone. Uh, in case you use iCloud, please call me on this number." But that didn't work, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I kind of got it sorted, so I'm happy. I'm a little bit worried about our mental armor situation. Four is is bad. We need more willpower. And I'll take an extra stun rod, sure. Mm -mm -mm. How long have you been? Um, have you had that car, Istvez? Have you had it for uh, for a while, or is it a new new deal? Ooh, a shotgunner. Give me this. Flaming bronze dagger. Sure, I'll take it. Take this for now. If only to sell it later. We want to be aware of slumberlings as well. I don't want to get caught up with a slumberling. Oh, okay, there's a glow moth nearby. I can smell it. I just saw the uh, the effect. There you are, you little stinker. I've noticed there's been a lot more glow moths um, down here recently. And an infiltrator. Thank you for the level up. Um, two mutation points again. I keep missing the level ups. I don't know how. Did I level up twice there? No, I didn't. I'm just too busy talking about being such a good Samaritan, I guess. <laughs> All right. Horns we don't have to worry about for now. Um, give me one triple jointed. And honestly, yeah, give me give me uh, multiple arms as well. Not new, few years, and it was bought as used. Ah, okay. What color is it? Let me guess. Um, it's either white or it's wild card color green. Um, you know, because this stacks, I'm actually going to get Blood Letter. I know I always talk trash about Blood Letter, but I'm going to get it. And then I'm going to save for some multi-weapon fighting. Because that is essential. Okay, another infiltrator. I love it. Old slug snout there. I'm loving all the inf oh I just see it. did you I, you probably didn't see that there's a putus on this map there's a templar over to the right I just saw them teleport over let's try and deal with these guys they keep teleporting which is annoying but um There's the stun going off. Oh, this is a friggin' legendary. It says impossible, but we've messed this thing up kind of bad at the moment. There we go, level 7. I 
All right, now we grab uh, multiple weapon, sorry, multi-weapon fighting. We now have Flurry and we have 20% hit chance with our offhand weapons, which should be boosted by uh, multiple arms. I don't know how this stacks if you just add these percentages together. Does anyone know how this works? Um, and then on top of that, we have Jab as well, which doubles uh, the amount of attacks that we do. So... Give me one extra agility here for uh, plus four. More DV, more accuracy. Who's this uh, loser? He's no one. Get flurried. And get destroyed. Okay, cool. Wait, what? What was that? Mm. Um... I'll take this. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, I... Okay. I'm saying it right now. This is one of the luckiest early games I've ever had in this game. After, like, 650 hours. We've got obsidian carbide weapons right off the bat. We've just found a friggin' hover sled. What what is this run? We've we've got two hover sleds as well as some portable walls. Okay. I can't believe this. What level are we? Level like seven or something? We've got Eater's Nectar already. Two of them. Christ. Um Holy cow. Alright, well, you know, let's let's equip the hover sled. Um, and then I'll take this other one to sell. The portable balls, uh, they're they're heavy, but we have a hover sled. And I'm gonna I'm gonna use one of these right off the bat. We got extra ego. You know what? I, I'm not mad about it. No idea what what are, sorry, the is nectar injectors. I, I, I shouldn't really use the other one. I could save it for cloning, but it's such early game that I just kind of want to use it. So let's just use it. There we go. Strength. I can't believe it. Honestly, the luckiest run I've had. You have no clue about Cud. Oh okay. I thought I thought you were uh I thought you uh were like a cud pro. So what we just picked up there was those those eaters nectar injectors, they randomly raise uh an attribute. They give you one attribute point. We got two of them. So we got an extra point of ego, an extra point of strength. And the hover sled just um gives you a whole month a bunch more it reduces your carry weight by like a bunch um there it takes 75 pounds and we're currently going for an item that's going to lower that by 10 pounds as well so um we're going to be able to carry a lot more crap than we normally would be able to this is a this is a lucky run i'm glad you're here istavez because I, I don't think i've ever had a run uh kind of pop off like this um at level level seven as well like we this is like literally the early early game barring anything really stupid happening which you can't bar from this game because if there's one game that will get you it's it's cud um look at that just just easy everything is just just dying let me go cook real quick okay what do we have here a weird artifact a sniper rifle just a 
I mean... Mm. Another historic site. That's four historic sites. A sniper. I, I, I don't know what's happening. I promise I haven't hacked the game. I'm just the luckiest man. This is because I've been talking about trying to get that iPhone back to someone. The game knows that I'm a good person and they're like, okay. Oh no, there's a slug snout. This could quite easily kill us if we're not careful. Let's try and get it to come up to where we are. Oh no. I need to know, is there two of you or is it just the one? It's two of them. Oh baby this is bad um we've got witchwood i'm gonna pop this right now one down two down okay thank you that could have gone really really bad two slug snouts i think that would have killed a lesser uh a lesser mutant for sure Ooh. All right, uh, give me. I should really focus on arms, I think. The days is so good, though. That's the problem. But give me multiple arms for now. Extra 3% chance to strike. And then give me multi-weapon expertise. Expertise. I said that in a really weird way. Um, I mean, we're just popping. We're popping off big time. I mean, it also helps that horns is such a good mutation. And it's also a short blade. I keep reading the chat log because I want to see if we're kicking any enemies with our um, hooks for feet. But the problem is we're killing everything, everything so quickly at this point. Like right there, that last attack, we hit six damage with our horns. We critically hit for four damage with one of our daggers. They started bleeding. They also got stunned because of um, double muscled. Uh, we hit for two with the same dagger. We then hit uh, for three with another dagger. They started bleeding even more. We then hit for two with uh, the same dagger as the second one. And then they died. I mean, that's... This is a good build and we've been incredibly lucky. I'm going to stop saying that now because it's annoying me. And it's probably annoying you even more. But uh, yeah, I'm just excited. Shortbread, whenever I upload this VOD to YouTube, Shortbreads are going to have a special uh, thumbnail made because they deserve it. Still, we'll, we'll probably run into a slumberling at some point and it will be like, well, GG. We have cracked armor right now. We don't. Okay. Nobody else wants to come over here? Come on. Quillipede. Also, yeah, I just saw that your your car is black. That's cool. If I didn't have a... I, if, if I had a car, it would be black or it would be like racing green. You know, that kind of like dark... Okay, that's a slug snout. She... Try and bait it around the corner here. Yep. You fool. You never should have come here. Hmm. 
activate. We're almost leveled up again. There we go, level nine. We have another attribute point to uh, to spend here. Um, since we can do strength and agility quite easily with our mutations, um, we're going to focus on... We can also buy tinkering. Um, I wouldn't mind getting ego because I would love... I mean, if we if we want some good gear sooner rather than later, um, we're going to want to get snake oiler, right? Which is... 19 ego but we don't need it just yet you know every six levels all of your all of your um stats go up by one starting at level six so six and then 12 and then 18 and also every six levels starting at level three you get plus one attribute point um we just hit level nine which is obviously six levels after level three so um i mean plus you know what give me some extra health i don't want to be squishy this is uh, toughness and intelligence are retroactive when you level them up so always worth doing okay horn is currently capped still so give me give me multiple arms again And I think that's the corpse. We we've we've made it here already. Let's grab the sphere of negative weight. That's another ten off of our uh, total weight uh, capacity. And we have a pickaxe now. You can stack the spheres. You can actually learn how to craft them. And you can you can make a whole bunch of them. Similarly, there's a point in the game, in the sort of late game, where you get a second um, floating nearby slot. And we can have two hover sleds if we want. You know what mutation I've been loving recently is uh, Clairvoyance. It's pretty cheap. It's got... If I could redo my tier list, I would probably put Clairvoyance a bit higher. I don't remember where I put it, but I almost certainly know that I um, disrespected it. Clairvoyance is great. You can get it to a point where you can actually just see the whole map at once. We do have two pairs of hands, so I do need another pair of gloves. Imagine how good life would be if you actually had four arms. Think of the things that you could get done. I play drums. Imagine how good I'd be at drums if I had four arms, dude. Okay. So let's follow this to Red Rock and do the quest. I think we will encounter a slumberling along the way. There's normally one hanging around. People would be lazy with four hands. Uh, do you think? I feel like if I had four arms, I, I don't know. I don't know what I. Don't, I mean, there's. I think it depends also on your ability to like multitask. There's no there's no point having four arms if you're only able to focus on like doing one thing at a time, you know? Um but if you can focus on more than one thing, you could do some pretty crazy stuff with four arms. A null worm skull. I would love to wear that, but we can't wear helmets. I'm terrified right now of getting slug snouted out in the open or getting sundered. Level 10. Man, it's going quick. We are power leveling right now. Um What do we want? We want to take I think we can start doing horns again now. Yeah, we can. For extra damage. But give me give me one more point of uh 
arms here and then I'll start doing horns again uh, we have enough points to pick up what do we need we need 25 agility for multi-weapon mastery that's gonna be super easy to do we could have technically got it now but I just rushed as usual um, disarming shots not very good hobble is fine it has to be in your primary hand which eh. give me give me my my good old favorite give me friggin oh wait hold up didn't i want snake oiler i did yeah but we can't get it yet give me uh self-discipline so we can get meditate Okay, there's lots of uh what is this it's ooze okay yeah i thought so unless you could attach them and leave them on their own now that would be sad i mean how if you could detach your body part it would be friggin sick dude Hey, Benny boy, how you doing, man? Ah, raided. Okay, I didn't see the pop-up. It's not working, you say. Wild one, first time chatter, welcome. Glad to have you here. Kramumu, great name. Glad to have you here as well. How's it going, guys? Skazza, welcome back. Hey, Sharface, good to see you. Because of the ads... Do you wait hold on you guys you you see you shouldn't be seeing any ads i don't run ads on my channel you you got ads really i'm good thank you wild one having probably the most cracked early game cud run that i've ever had right now there's some crazy stuff happening you're subbed you don't see them anyway wild 194 is now following thank you for the follow i appreciate it namaste you had ads. That's crazy. Okay, you saw ads as well, guys. I okay. I don't know why because I do have them disabled. I've never had them switched on, but people have said to me before they get ads when they first come in. Uh, that's really be bewildering. I don't know why that would happen. How about? Hold on. I got a question then. Uh, which who do, do you guys use ad blockers i wonder if that uh factors in it forces you to either roll them to yourself or auto does pre-rolls yeah but i turned i turned pre-rolls mid-rolls everything off um regardless of whether you've subbed or not so you do use one maybe that's it i think that might be it because i i use an ad blocker for twitch <laughs> don't judge um i do disable it on certain sites like youtube does my head in but I, I do it because you know but on twitch i'm like nah i'm sorry i only watch people that i sub to anyway so it doesn't really matter but I, yeah i never see ads Ooh, a lovely pair of oozing boar skin gloves I said boar skin, okay, with a B. Don't be gross. You're on a phone, no ad block. Ah, got you. I'm always curious about who's watching on like what platform. I almost never watch Twitch on my phone. I don't use my phone for anything really. Thing is you've been able to raid before to channels and circumvented the ads. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. That's really weird. But thanks for letting me know, guys, uh, whether or not you're running ad block. I can report you now to the uh, to the police. Let's kill these losers and get the hell out of here, man. We we before you guys raided in, I wanted to. I I was going to ask. Um, we were talking about like, if if humans had uh four arms what what would you do do you think there's anything that you would be like inherently better at because i was thinking you know obviously drums is the first thing i i thought of but then i was like 
that really depends on how well you're able to multitask that's more of a kind of neurological skill rather than just having more arms is there anything that would be like significantly better with twice the arms you're a good little twitch gremlin who pays to avoid ads oh have you got twitch turbo as well or are you just talking about your sub Better at cosplaying Machamp. That's true. You got phone tablet, you got the Z Fold. Is that the the friggin' the thing that that's so cool? Do you ever worry that you're gonna snap it in half? I, I would be forever terrified. Juggling? Also, yeah, good point. Carrying groceries. Alright, you guys are all geniuses. I didn't think of any of this. Hey, Frank. Good to see you, dude. Uh, Frank, we are having the most cracked run of card ever. Um, I'm only level 10. I found four historic sites. I picked up two Eater's Nectar injectors. I've got a hover sled. Uh, I got friggin' carbide weapons, obsidian weapons. It's insane. Mortal Kombat, yeah. Who's the character in Mortal Kombat with four arms? Um, I always forget his name. Goro, yeah, or Goro. I don't know how to say it. I don't play Mortal Kombat. I'm more of a Tekken boy myself. It's all about Yoshimitsu and law. Martial law. OGs. Also, King's pretty cool, but Tekken's the freaking best, dude. Take me back to, like, I don't know. 1998 or whenever it was when I was playing Tekken on Tekken 2 on PlayStation. Looks like Easter. Hey, T Rex, welcome back. No, you're missing a cud stream. Yeah, T Rex, you're missing the most insane start that I've ever had to cud stream uh, after like 650 hours of the playing this frigging game. Play piano, true. Yeah. You could play two pianos at once, actually. You're more of a Soul Calibur, dude. Soul Calibur's great as well. Who's the friggin' terrifying thing in Soul Calibur that's, like, all kind of, like... He's got, like, uh, daggers on his hands. Uh, he's got, like, uh, some kind of, like, capoeira kind of, like, weird movement. Voldo, that's it. That guy freaked me the fuck out as a kid. Jin is cool, yeah. Ryan. Oh, wh wait, Huarang, he's the guy with the kicks, right? Yeah, he was he was OP, actually. I, if my brother ever picked him, I'd be like, no, fuck you, dude. Brian Fury was cool. All of the, you know what, let's just face it. All of the characters in Tekken are awesome. There's not a single bad character. There's Ogre and True Ogre. You remember those? Yeah, Taekwondo, that's right. Raphael was your main. Was Raphael the guy with the staff? I remember there was a guy with a, a staff. Who was like insane in Soul Calibur. Oh, you know who I like in Soul Calibur? Ivy. Yeah, Kilik. Yeah, that's right. I can't put my finger on why, but I like Ivy. I think that's her name. Okay, we've done the quest. Let's get the hell out of here, man. Okay, we're hungry. Luckily, there's a campfire right here. Let's cook something up. Let me cook. Look at the damage, man. 33 at level 10. Can I cook now, please? Fuck you, game. There's nobody nearby. Okay, there was, but... <sighs> Alright, can I cook now? Thank you. What did we eat? We gather whatever we find for a meal. A boar tooth, a degenerate small stone, and coral fractured microchip. I'm not gonna lie, that's probably the tastiest meal I've ever heard of. This character is insane. If if this character dies in a stupid way, which it will, I'm gonna be heartbroken. Shortcakes, fucking sorry, not shortcake, shortbread. I'm so sorry. Strange tubes, times okay. I'm guessing these are folding chairs. Yes, I don't want that. Fuck out of here. 
Mm. Gun Jack. Oh, yeah, Jack. I forgot. Isn't the law behind Jack that he's like six years old and they just put his head on like a, an android's body? <gasps> There's a fucking beetle down here. I can't believe this run, guys. This is mad. Give me the quest. Give you five steel daggers and you'll give me a peculiar contraption. I can absolutely do that, man. I think I might even have some steel daggers on me. I do not have any steel daggers. Never mind. Killer Instinct was the best fighter in that era. I don't remember Killer Instinct. Jack is a series of robots. Oh, okay. Because I remember, you remember in the good old days when you had physical games and it came with the booklet? And the booklet had like really cool um, like info about all the fighters. I remember Jack, it said, it had the age. And um, yeah, Jack was six. And I was always like, whoa, Jack's, <laughs> Jack's six. What the fuck? Um, who else are we, who else haven't we mentioned? What is the, um, there's a guy made out of wood. He's like a mannequin. Is he called like Tengu or something? What What is he called? Makujin. And there's a, there's a bear as well, right? These are the more, slightly more obscure characters. I mean, all of my tech and knowledge comes from the first three games, you know, which is like 20 plus years old, probably at this point. Kuma, that's right. And Panda, the palette swap. Yeah, 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 yeah. You never played Tekken, Frank? Oh, it's so good. I mean, I don't. it probably doesn't hold up well now, the classic Tekken, but I think there's a new one that just came out recently. I also... I, I did have quite fond memories of Street Fighter as a kid as well, but um, it was always a bit too difficult for me. You had a roster of 10 characters and you unlock new characters each time you did arc. That's right. Yeah. Remember the bear? You saw video game donkey play him a lot. Yeah, there, what was the arcade mode was really cool. Yoshimitsu, man. What a fucking cool, terrifying fighter. So cool. He always had really kind of mundane endings as well. I still remember he had the the shark attack right which was like his special his special attack all right i want to go and buy some is that a different beetle no that's the same beetle i was about to get really excited i don't think the desert chris counts as a steel dagger i mean it is the same tier as a steel dagger but i don't think Technically, it says it's high-end, so maybe not. He was the meme. Yeah, he really was. He was the May May. Speaking of memes, I've been I've been loving the uh, the Kevin James memes recently. They're so good. I've seen some really great ones. I actually made one. I made my first meme in like ten years. And it was a Kevin James meme. And I posted it on the subreddit. And it did really well. And I was like, I'm a genius. There's so many good ones. Alright, let's go hand this freaking quest in. I, I think I'm going to go straight for a historic site. I want to get a relic. I want to show you guys a juicy relic. It's not a euphemism. Alright, we're back in Joppa. Let's turn this in. Got a really itchy thumb. Does anyone ever just get like an itchy thumb? Alright, thank you. I'm gonna drop the corpse. I don't need it anymore. See you later, loser. Wait, I got a second carbide dagger. Did that just say? No, that's a longsword. Alright, let's see if Tam has any uh, steel daggers. All right, let's go historic site. And hopefully not die. I mean, we only have five AV. 
five armor value for those of you not in the know. Um, what am I being? Oh, I'm being attacked by a bat. That's annoying. Guess what beats bat? Pistol. Ekramax. Okay, you're my friend. Another bat. Okay. Let's find the stairs and go downstairs because then we don't have to deal with the bats flying bullshit. Something's going on over here. I disapprove. Thank you very much for the hydrate reminder. Mmm. Vodka. No, I, I actually had quite a bad headache today, so um, I do need all the water I can get. I don't know why I'm streaming, but I am. You fool, you shot your friend. Alright, can I cook? Let me cook. What do we eat? We eat a small stone, a boar's left hind foot, a sprinkle of shale, and a boar tooth. Yeah, we really need to take some lessons. Hold on, have I leveled up and for forgotten? No, okay. I think we just got a double kill there. Oh, baby! I'm definitely not drinking vodka. That is horrific. I do not like vodka. Um, even if it's free, I would rather not drink. You barely seen any cud in all of these caves. You're missing out, Sushi. By the way, welcome. Oh my God, guys! I'm so bad. Okay, we got two legendary streamers in the chat. Let me let me I let me remember to give shout outs because. They are beautiful people. I'm going to start with Ben. I'm going to wait for the cooldown, and then I'm going to give you a shout. Sushi, sushi. Uh, we're currently having a, an insane card run right here. Going really well. The most powerful start I've ever had. Beautiful people. The beautiful people. I wonder what Marilyn Manson's up to right now. Probably being a creep. Am I right? Everyone knows Dr. Sushi. He's the world's foremost sushi salesman. And he's a medical doctor. He's actually uh, a, a proctologist. Who just so happens to be an incredible sushi uh, chef. He's the absolute Mac Daddy of Twitch.tv. He really do be. He do be on that Mac Daddy vibe. I call him... <laughs> I call him Daddy all the time. Dude, you're torn with Marilyn. You love what he does. Yeah, I think we, we you and I have spoke about this before, Frank, where um, I was never really a big fan of Marilyn Manson's music. Um, I have seen him live, and it was a really good show. Probably about five or six years ago. Um... But, yeah, I'm not surprised that he's a, a bit of a weirdo. An implant, huh? It depends, you know. If you can separate the art from the artist, you know, um, I guess you can just stop listening. Otherwise, I don't know. This was just a place you chose to come where you didn't get taken out on a raid. Oh, thank you. Twitch told you he wasn't able to raid out at the time. You need to come off. What? You raided manually? How did... Oh, really? Well, did you post my um, URL in your chat, Ben? Thank you, man. You've gone above and beyond. Let me give uh, Sushi... 86. That's the length of his penis in centimeters. Wow, look at all these bats, dude. Mean Mr. Custard. Meet me at Rat Stream, you get me. Hell yeah. This is the clubhouse. 
What um what did you what were you streaming today, Ben? This is the first time you've ever seen this game. Is it hard? Um Uh yeah, I mean it's 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 permadeath. Uh it's ro it's a roguelike, but um yeah, I would say it is hard. I don't think it's as hard as it looks. I think it probably looks quite intimidating if it's uh the first time you're seeing it, but it's got a lot of depth this game. You know, I put uh, many hundreds of hours in and I'm still finding new stuff to do. Um, you play, we're playing as a, a mutant right now. We have uh, multiple arms. We've got horns. We've got night vision. You pick all this at the start. You can see because we have multiple arms, we can wield like I've got four daggers that I'm holding. I've got two pistols, two pairs of gloves. I've got hooks for feet as well. <laughs> It's a great game. If you're if you're into like suffer core, um, roguelike permadeath kind of things, then uh, I would definitely recommend it. It's supposed to be Minecraft, so you did a little Minecraft, but mostly you spent time chatting about Twitch. Oh, that's nice. It's good when you have streams like that where you kind of go off off schedule a little bit and you just like kind of talk shit for a while. Um, it's been a while since I've done a stream like that. I normally talk shit whilst playing a game, but it's pretty hard. How is the um how is your uh background, your star thing going by the way, Ben? I know that's like a shitload of work. Oh, by the way, Ben and Frank, thank you very much for the feedback about editing uh in the Discord today. Um I will download Premiere, but for now I found another program. Um it's like a like a it's 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 borderline Windows Movie Maker, uh, but it's actually pretty good. And best of all, um, I have a way now to get those little boxes that I want. And all I did is I went into a sprite, I made the box a PNG, and I can just import it and put it on a different layer, which is probably like the 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 doofus way of doing things, but it works for me and it's easy and it makes sense. It's called. Uh, let me just. You probably haven't heard of it because it's like it's basically like freeware. It's called Open Shot Video Editor. <laughs> um, but it's doing the job. I'm like uh, a third of the way through editing my video right now. Um, and it's actually not making me want to kill myself like Da Vinci Resolve was. Um, the Starfield is done. It's on your stream overlay. Oh, dude, I'm going to have to check that out. Um, that sounds... Well done, man, for uh, for getting it done. Dude, the lore. The lore in this place. Is... Okay, we're getting pretty close to the bottom of this, I'm going to assume now. Which means uh, a juicy relic. What do you think it's going to be? Do you think it's going to be anything that we can actually use? If it works for you, it works for you. It's not the doofus way, it's the right way. Thank you very much, guys. You do it at work, export to PNG, import in Premiere. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. Clipchamp is something you use for quickly for YouTube shorts, but if it needs keyframes... Hey, uh, the word... Okay, so the... Uh, key, keyframes have, have been thrown around a lot recently. I don't know what keyframe is, guys. Um, can somebody please explain <laughs> what keyframe is? <laughs> Clip champ. Okay, I will keep that in mind, Wild One. Thank you very much. And thank you for the follow, Wild One. I appreciate it. Um, You know a guy who animated and edited an entire YouTube intro in PowerPoint? That's honestly impressive. Hey, Robot Skis. How you doing, dude? Welcome back. Robot, we're having a... I, I've said it a hundred times, but we're having such a good uh, run. We're only level 10, and look at all of the stuff that I currently have. Oh, also, we killed a legendary um, uh, infiltrator, and it dropped two Eater's Nectar injectors as well, so... Keyframes are frames, basically. It's an animation frame. Oh, the, oh, okay, so, okay, I'm familiar with keyframes in Ace Sprite, then. Yeah, glad you're here, um, Robot. We're about to uh, go grab a relic from our first historic site. 
Seems to only be guarded by bats. Okay, there's the chest. We have a legendary bat as well. Let's see who we're dealing with. Sulhomrapur. Legendary bat and leader of the order of the Babu... Babu Mabuku's wife. Okay. Um, cool. Get absolutely destroyed, dude. Come over here. One, one shot. Just absolutely melted. Um, all right, let's see what relic we get. Oh, it's a sword. Okay. What does it give us? It gives us plus two willpower. Um, technically, we could use it. Plus two willpower is kind of nice. But I don't know. We'll see. We're doing a uh, we're doing a short blade. Our guy's called Shortbread, and he's an expert in short blade. We're doing multiple weapon fighting. Uh, we've got four arms. We've got multiple arms. Oh, you know what hasn't manifested yet, either? We have... We're Chimera, and we actually haven't got the... Um... Oh, because we need to buy the... Yeah, okay. If we do buy a new mutation... We might be able to get another arm if we're super lucky. It's not going to happen for a while, though. Give me all the books. There's a starting position keyframe and an ending keyframe. If you want to move or imagine a video, you tell you where it is starting. To... Ah, okay. Hmm. Okay, well, I, I will keep key... Okay, so key keyframes are essentially frames with animations on them. Is that the general gist do all historic sites have an artifact yes some of them actually have more than one um that happens quite rarely but you can occasionally get two artifacts from a single uh there's a mimic i think we can kill a mimic quite easily it says it's impossible i don't buy it let's kill these bats first unless the mimic just became a bat no he's killing him okay here we go, Mimic time. The Mimic will grab us, but I'm... In look, two hits. Insane. Look at this combat log, dude. We hit the 23 with our horns. We hit with for seven with one of our daggers. They started bleeding. We hit with another dagger. They started bleeding even more. We hit with another dagger. They started bleeding more. <laughs> Insane. Well, it looks like we've explored everything. We're, we are done here. We got a mediocre sword. Except that the first keyframe is the original state of an object that you're animating, and the last is the end state. Okay, so everything in between that. Imagine a movie fade to black. Keyframe 1 is 100% of the opacity. Keyframe 2 is 0% of the movie, just black. I understand. So, yeah, at the beginning of the, the, vi the video I'm making, I do have a fade in. Just a very short fade in, like two seconds. And then it's like, hey guys, welcome to my Caves Cut tutorial. <laughs> I'm excited to post it though, you know? By the way, um, if you guys are interested, um, there's a link to my, my new channel, which is going to be non-VOD content. Oh, hold on, we missed... Uh... No, we didn't miss it, never mind. Um, all right, well, we have to go and do the cursed Rustwell's quest because we need it to do the main quest. So let's go and get this junk out of the way. Baboons. Are we friendly with baboons? Oh my god, we're friendly with baboons. What's up, little man? That's cool. I don't know how that happened, but I'm, I'm glad it did. If you want, one day we'll join in Discord and screen share your help. Oh, that would be incredible, actually, Frank. I actually, I was thinking about this the other day. How do you actually stream to uh, Discord? Because there are times when I think like, oh, I might just do a little Discord stream, but I don't really know how. Really? No wire? You're not going to give me any wire on the surface? What the hell, dude? 
Those baboons are fright they're trying to kill these goats. My money's on the goats. You I am not being English today. <laughs> Someone over there, welcome back. How's it going? I am releasing a tutorial. Yeah, it is it is a tutorial for the update, but I, I so the tutorial I actually go out of my way not to get too in-depth because I want to keep it around 30, 35 minutes. Um I don't go over things like dice rolls and stuff like that or specific mutations. I go over like uh it's split into three parts. It's like creating a character, choosing a, a game mode. Uh, and then I go over all of the UI um, and all of the menus in the game not spending too long on them and then finally I do like basic gameplay and uh, combat and I'm also going to edit all of the keybinds that I'm using to open all of the menus and things so that all of that info will be on there which I think will be really helpful in a tutorial video I haven't seen anybody else do that yet, so... You rusted my copper nugget, you son of a bitch. I hate this place, man. You rusted my portable wall, you son of a bitch. Um... I think I'm gonna go right for... No, because then we gotta fight our way back up, haven't we? This place stinks. Smelly bum, smelly bum. Which channel? The new, yeah, it's gonna go on the new channel rather than the VOD one. Um, actually, speaking of VODs, I was having problem with stream elements. I just want to see if this works. Okay, that does work. That's the VOD channel, and the other one is uh, exclamation point YT. Um, but yeah, it'll be going on the new channel. All right, let's jump down this hole here. Let's go kill this pig. We're about to level up as well. I'm 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 almost feeling like we could go and do something in the jungle. I mean, our AV is very low, but it will be fun. Fuck these kudzu, man. I don't want to keep killing these. They're just going to keep rusting my stuff. I'm going to kill the beetle bomb. There we go. Level 11. We got a mutation point. Um, Probably should take another level of horns. No. I'm going to take... I want to grab... Uh, multi-weapon mastery we don't have enough points right now but um, if I grab agility uh, triple jointed here eh, I'm gonna go horns all right I can just find the stairway here. I can jump down. Okay, awesome. Oh Christ, look at this. This is a awful, awful room. Right now we're pretty much one-shotting everything. We ended up getting extra strength and extra ego from those two Eater's Nectar injectors that we found. So we are otherwise more powerful than we would normally be. I really gotta go through this way. Come on, man. Everywhere there's lots of piggies, living piggy lives. You think that's anybody's favorite Beatles song?
Ooh, we got a slug snout. Hmm, a headlamp. Cool, 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 cool. I'll sell all of that. Cheers. All right, we're just over halfway. Okay, we are just over three quarters of the way now. We just need like 49... Um, yeah, get me out of here. Being gassed by a skunk. Has anybody, anybody from North America uh, ever smelt a skunk before? I've always wondered what they s smell like. You like, you love piggies, but not your fave. It's, it's a weirdly catchy song. It's stuck in my head at the moment and I haven't listened to it recently. To eat the bacon. Pretty unique. You smell it often. It's unique. Hard to describe. Hmm. Okay. Because I don't know if you ever smelt like fart spray. The fake fart spray. In my head, a skunk smells like that, but it probably smells well. Does it smell like, is it like kind of sulfury? Like rotten egg? Or is it? its own thing you smell skunk once a week at least there was a cat versus skunk in front of your window the other day <laughs> um my money's on the cat but i think the skunk definitely has way better defensive capabilities um not sulfury at all okay hey there we go quest done get me the hell out of here all right, now we're going to go to the still. We're going to see if we get a good uh, good spawn for traders. The cat won, but the cat probably felt like the skunk won. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty much like mutually assured destruction. I, I do think that skunks are actually incredibly cute animals. Like, they look really cute. You know? Like a really bad recipe that went bad on top of it. Really? What? So it has like a rotten essence to it. Okay. We have now taken the quest. Oh, you know what we can buy? We can actually get tinkering. I would like tinkering. It's been so long since I've been able to buy tinkering. I normally neglect intelligence. So let's friggin' do it. Let's quickly trade with Tam, even though he always has absolute garbage. I want to buy the ammo. A nylon body pack would be nice, but we don't need it. Mm, yeah, I think, I think, I think we're good. I will take some trade goods. <clears throat> Man, I got a lot of artifacts that I haven't ID'd. Also, we need to keep an eye out, remember, for steel daggers. Okay, we need we need some water. We need way more than 17 water. Let's sell this navigation system. And the fidget cell. And 13 Dreadroot Tubers. Jesus. There we go. Alright, let's go to the still. See how many times we get lost. Ooh, ruins. Yes, I'll take it. Um, It has nothing to do with sulfur, fart spray. You actually have two pet skunks when you were a kid. Sister had connections to remove the glands. Ah, okay. Not really rotten, it's hard to describe. Is it okay to remove a, a skunk's scent glands? I feel like uh, I feel like that's a little bit sad. But they probably were very cute pets. It's a unique smell. I'm okay. I'm I'm getting that. You saw on on Google rotten cabbage. Hmm. I do love cabbage. <laughs> I know that's not the point. I'm just telling you. I do love cabbage.
Mixed with really bad Kush. Oh, really? One bit you. He was a he was a bit mad that we had to put him in a cage, while the calf had its baby. You grew up on a farm, T-Rex. You had to get the rabies shot. Damn. Yeah, we're we're very lucky in the UK in that we uh, we don't have rabies as eradicated in the uh, the British Isles. Because I can't imagine anything worse than like getting rabies, you know. No thanks. Do you ever smelled skunkweed? I have indeed. It's on the same spectrum. Okay. I mean, skunkweed smells kind of nice, but... <laughs> they're quite close to ferrets in behavior. Yeah, I know ferrets are like... They're very... Very bitey. Um, very manic. A dairy farm. Oh, wow. That's cool. I bet that was a really... Like, I... So my uh my mom's dad he um he lived next to a farm. So growing up we me and my brother and I we would kind of hang around in a cow field. Um I got loads of really fucked up stories um from that era including being chased by a when I was probably I probably would have been 11 being chased by a a, a farmer with a with a a shotgun he didn't shoot it or anything because you know we're kids but like he he did chase us with a shotgun in hand um also s saved my brother from sinking in a in a slurry pit um it wasn't really a slurry pit it was like a mixture of uh, like loads of cow shit and like mud after heavy rain he lost uh he lost his wellingtons in that pit we couldn't get them back out Let's have a little peek down here, shall we? Ooh, a slumberling. I reckon we could take the slumberling. I really do. And if you don't believe me... Look at that. Stun right off the bat. Stun locked him. Look, okay, so look. This is the power of this character. He is dazed. He is stunned. And he's got three stacks of bleed. Look at this friggin' combat log here. It's insane. The reason this happened is because we have the stun and the daze comes from uh, double muscled. Uh, and the bleed stack is coming from bloodletting. And because we have jab and we have multi-weapon fighting, we're just hitting with everything. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing goes down, like, very easily. There we go, he's gone. Slimer. You personally don't dislike the skunk smell. Yeah, it's like one, you know, there are some smells in life that are like, they're a little bit like, ooh, a little funky, but they're kind of nice at the same time. That's one of them. What's a welling? Uh, a, a wellington is a, is a boot, a welly boot. It's, uh, I think you maybe call them, what do you call them in North America? Galoshes? Let me Google that. Galoshes. No. Well, no. No, they're not. They're like tall galoshes, basically. They're Wellingtons. They're like rubber... Let me show you. Wellington boots. Wellington boots. If he doesn't scare you. Wellington boots. Um, these are these are Wellingtons. I don't know what you call them. En français, um, a teleporting salamander. What's going on? Oh, a voider. I'll handle this. Thanks for the XP, idiot.
Oh, you call them rain boots. Okay, you know what? That's actually a much better term for them. Um, yeah, those. Oh, we're lost. Okay. Oh, wait. We can we can get unlost. There's a guy down here. Um, okay, there we go. All right, let's get moving. In French, you call them rubber boots. You probably spell it like this, right? Right, what have we got here? Another stairway down. Okay, I'm seeing bookshelves. We need all the books we can get. Yeah, here we go. Let's just pop our head downstairs. The French word for rubber is a pain in the ass for non-native French. Full of weird sounds and silent letters. Bots de ca... Kahoo-choo. Kahoo-choo. That looks insane. I've never seen so many friggin' vowels in one place. Kahoo-choo? Is that, is that right? Am I saying that right? Kahoo-choo? That means rubber. Rubber? I barely know her. Um, Kahoo-choo. Okay. Just don't say the H. Kauchu. Kauchu. It sounds like uh like a really cool like well, it's almost like a patois or something. Kauchu. Flashbang mine. Watch this. Alright, cool. No more books. Let's let's go. Let's keep going here. I'm gonna get I, I can tell you, I'm gonna get big XP when we get to the stilt. I swear to god, if we have a dromad in the stilt, this is gonna be just cracked. We have a legendary snapjaw. Spoiler, I died in the daily today to a snapjaw king. This is a snapjaw tot eater. Um just like by winged mammals. Okay, this thing needs to die then because uh, I, I need that winged mammal rep. No! The equines, they're going to kill... Where am I? I should probably try not to die rather than trying to run straight to the snap jaw here. But I would love to kill it, I'm not going to lie. Damn it, we didn't get the kill. I'm going to have to kill these Equimax because uh, I really wanted that kill. Okay, that's a lot of Equimax, but I think we can handle it. Yeah, because we are absolutely insane in melee right now. Lots of XP for killing the Equimax, by the way. I recommend it. Reshef law as well, baby. Right when we need it. I'm gonna kick quick. I'm gonna kick. I'm gonna check these bodies. Um. For steel daggers. I also I'm gonna equip all of the shields, all of the bucklers that I can find here. Another buckler for us. Perfect pronunciation. Kauchu. You can see tribal screaming while circling. <laughs> it's from Native American. Ah, okay. Since rubber was found in the Americas. Yeah, that would make sense then. That's cool, man. The, the etymology of words is always so fascinating. Don't you think? A pair of goggles. 
Oh yeah. I'm starting to think that the steel daggers uh, don't exist anymore. Okay, we are lost, so... We found a pig farm. That's great, we can speak to the farmer. Where am I? You ever been lost in real life? You love etymology? Yeah, me too. Me too. Did I bring with me a chest? I did not bring a chest. That's fine. Alright, we're about to level up. Maybe twice if we're lucky, but probably once. Okay, we already have that bit of lore. Let's speak to this loser. Let's firstly see what they have. Aided by arachnids. Honestly, that's fine by me. He can teach us medicine. I'm actually, I'm actually going to take it. There's not many... I think this is actually the only Cult of the Coiled Lamb character in the game at the moment. There we go. Level 12. One to each attribute point. Let's grab... We can't keep going horn, but it does give us an extra armor if we get another level in it. 25% chance for it. I mean, that's so good, though. I'm taking that for now. Now, I do want tinkering. Level 1. Ooh, fitted with cleats, drum loaded. We're taking willowy. Willowy is actually pretty good. It makes things way lighter than they would be otherwise. I'm loving this character. This is a top tier character. Plus one to hit for the rest of the day. That's also incredible. Um, hated, but hold on. What was that? Disliked by the people of the Goulash Loving for digging up the remains of their ancestors. Interesting. I, I can name my worn banous, yes. I'm going to call this... Um, shortbreads... Shawl. There we go. It's going to be gold, of course. And I'm if I can, I'm going get, to get them to teach me uh, shield. Perfect. We now know how to use our shield. Uh, all right, dude, better head off. Yep, yeah, take it easy, man. Thanks for stopping by, Ben. Thanks for the raid, dude. Enjoy your, uh... Well, I'm assuming you're making your lunch for tomorrow, man. What are you going to have? Something delicious, no doubt. Take it easy, man. Ooh. Shiba is a goat folk bully. Leftover pizza and snacks. Ooh. You know what? It doesn't really get much better than leftover pizza. Let's be honest. It really is. There's a, If you want to reheat it as well, there's like a special technique you can use in the microwave. Works every time. I'm about to get a shitload of XP, guys. Look at this. Take it easy, man. Enjoy your pizza. 12,000 XP. Level 13. Level 14. This is truly a power level character. All right, I want uh, I want triple jointed. I might go for two triple jointed here to get plus five to our agility. Don't want to ignore my uh, my horns, but yeah, let's go let's go double triple jointed. We now have plus five agility modifier, which means. Hold on, I'm going to figure out what our AV should be, right? So it should be 11 innately. And then with our gear, 12, 1, so back down to 10. It should be around 10. Yeah, it's 10. Okay, cool. I, I, I always remember how to figure out DV now. It's not that high, but considering all the gear we have, that's still pretty good uh, dodge value. 
Okay, we need Mechanimus rep always. I do care about DV now. Yeah, you know, since we did the run on Monday with the single weapon fighting and the uh, insane, like, dodges, uh, I, I'm starting to care about DV. I, I didn't think it would ever happen. And yet, here I am. Here I am. Boom, boom. All right. Um, we can now learn some juicy tinkering skills, hopefully, as well. Another historic site. Dude, we cannot escape. There's an Icor merchant on the first map here. That means we probably have two. Very cool, very cool. Um, who do we have here? We should go and speak uh, to the Hindrin here to get the Yonder Cane. It's worth talking just for the Yonder Cane, in my opinion. Um, loved by Pariahs, yes. That means we can probably learn Trash Divining at some point. Also tend not to care and go for armor. I wonder if all all in all DV instead of armor would be viable. Um, I do wonder that. I think no. I think... I, I like to think of like uh, armor as being like the main attribute. And then dodge just being like a nice bonus for like just avoiding attacks. But I think just having DV... I, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see like what level you would need to be to get your DV to, to get, uh, to avoid, like, every attack, you know. Look at all these laser rifle turrets. Now, I'm, I'm debating whether or not to get, um, long blade and have one arm with long blade. Here's what I can't ever remember. Do we have to have long blade as our main weapon to benefit from the stance? I think we do. In which case, I don't want long blade. I reject it. I would like disassemble. We kind of have to get disassemble, to be honest. Uh, and I may as well... You know what? Let's just get scavenger. Get all of the tinkering stuff done with. That's tinkering done for now. And then later on, we, we're going to pick up uh, multi-weapon mastery. Assemble all of this. And the good thing about this is now is that we can mark um, these folding chairs as scrap. You also think no, but you'd like to think, yeah, I, I, I hope so. I hope it is sort of viable. It would be interesting. But I imagine you'd need such high agility. Oh yeah, let's, let's ID all of this stuff. I can see an electro bow for sure. There it is. Fix it spray foam. This is going to be... Oh, it's a tattoo gun. Never mind. Flashbang. And missile. I'm going to mark the missiles as auto scrap. Okay, right. Let's go see if we have uh, any tinkerers or any dromad traders here. Nope, nothing on this... Uh, Map. Did you do the um, daily today, Frank? Two grenade vendors. 
opening card right now to do it. Oh hell yeah, good luck, man. I I I'm I struggled today. But it's not a bad run. It's just the way the way that I handled it, I ended up struggling. So good luck, dude. I only came third when I um finished the run. I'm probably like not even on the top ten and anymore. Give me all these lead slugs, please. Um this could be a uh thingy pistol. So well, it doesn't have to be. It only weighs three, so I think it might have willowy attached to it. I don't know. I I may come back for this pistol, whatever this is. For now, I'll just take the slugs. That one where you got second was so good and your run was going so well. Yeah, uh, I, like I said, the, a way to get a high score is to to get the, the sphere of negative weight, I think. But I also, the one where I came, I got a really high score is just because I found so many books. Found like an obscene amount of books. Engraved. Okay, look. Neutron Flux. I would love to buy that, but uh, you don't even know what I mean by the sphere of negative weight. I'm talking about the this bad boy. Um, where does it actually go? It goes in this category? No. Oh, excuse me. Oh, it's here. This uh, this is the thing you get from underneath Joppa. If you go four levels down and then follow the river north, you come across a body and it's guaranteed. Oh, you know the object, but you don't know. Is it any... Yeah, so it's you go beneath Joppa and you go down four levels uh, until you can't go down anymore. And then you just follow, follow the river north and eventually you'll come across a corpse that has a pickaxe, a sphere of negative weight and uh, a mining helmet. And that's like, that's a guaranteed item on every run. Every time you got it, you got it by other means or you didn't notice. Yeah, it can definitely be easy to miss if you're not like consciously going there to pick it up. But that is how you get it. Ooh, this is intriguing. Whatever this is. I'm guessing that either um, thingy pistols, I can't remember what the hell they're called right now. I would love a machine pistol. I I may come back to buy that. We have money. Or we have the, the, the possibility of money. Okay, final screen here. Still haven't found a tinkerer. No, no tinkerer, just a crap load of uh, gunsmiths. What armor do I currently have? Leather, we can do better. But not here. <laughs> you remember I, say, I was saying that too, thanks for the tip. Yeah, go, go for it man, smash it. Good luck. All right, gunsmith, what do you have for me? What you tend to do is basically get to the still ASAP. Yeah, that's also a good way of power leveling at the beginning, I think, as well, is to just uh, try and find books. All right, I'm going to start buying out these um, artifacts, I think. Um... I'm kind of bummed that there's no uh, tinkerers here, but there you go. Um, get rid of some of the garbage that we're holding. Picked up a glow sphere along the way. All right, let's see what this is. 
please be something I can use. It's a carbine. Okay, it's not not what I wanted, but um, good to have it ID'd for later. Let's go speak to this gunsmith. I'm looking for machine pistols, ideally. This, yes, this seems too heavy to be a machine pistol. I'll grab one if I can afford it. Today's daily, oof, yeah. <coughs> That's what I said, pretty much. I was like, wow, three, three uh, true kin in a row. That's uh, that's pretty intense. I am starting to enjoy a true kin a little bit more though. You know? Okay, let's see what we got here. A combat shotgun. Again, not what I wanted, but good to have it ID'd. This leaves one more pistol merchant that could possibly have... Sorry, one more gun merchant that could have a pistol. This weighs three. What is this? I think this could be something. Uh, I'm going to disassemble these for the number four bits, I think. Yeah. I do have a hover sled to sell as well. Ah, uh, the portable walls rusted. I'm going to go get loads of stuff repaired because, um... Those are too valuable to have rusted. Alright, let's see what we just bought. A semi... You know what? semi automatic pistol is better than a chrome pistol. So, sure. Do that. Let's reload it. Now we know what to look for. Okay, and I think that's us done at the stilt here. Uh, I'm kind of feeling going to Gritgate right now. Let's, let's go get Gritgate on the go. Oh my god. Oh, I was about to say, I can't believe we haven't gotten lost yet. Spoke too soon. It's good to be out killing again. God, we hit so hard, it's amazing. You guess yeah, we got translucent skin. <laughs> Your best run ever was true kin, if you're gonna be really. I I do think that true and I said this in the tutorial that um I think true kin are, are better. Like they're stronger, for sure, especially early game. Wait, why do we have oh I know why we have recharge. Hold on, let me um we don't need this. We don't need this on here. We don't need any of this on here, apart from sprint. Okay, never mind. Um, what was I saying? ADHD brain. Oh, I was saying, yeah, true kin are stronger, but mutants are just more fun, I think. Killing all the horses right now. I just, I can't believe this run. This run is incredible. If we can get this to the new late game, I will be so happy. Oh yeah, we also have Scavenger now. Character name? Frank the Truekin Disliker. Yeah, Truekin is easier, I'd say. I'd agree with that. Oh, we lost. I keep forgetting. All right, more snap jaws. So I'm starting to wonder if that beetle quest um, 
would actually uh, accept like any steel dagger rather than just steel daggers. Like if we gave them, um... anything in the same tier, perhaps. I don't know why I'm I'm equipping all of these. My DV goes down with each one. I just actually want to check something. I always forget how shield works because I never take it. As long as you wield a shield, there's a 50% chance you block one melee attack per round. When you block an attack, you add the shield's AV bonus to your AV for the attack. Okay, that makes sense. If you equip multiple shields, which we have done with bucklers, the one block per round limit is per shield. And you can only and you can attempt to block a given attack once using your best. And you can only attempt to block a given attack once using Okay. So if we have four shields equipped, we can still block four attacks in theory, right? Am I understanding that correct? Flaming club. I'm going to start picking up these desert chrises because they're in the same uh, tier as still uh, daggers. Oh, I'll take everything, sure. Oh, okay, so a steel utility knife. That's gotta count. Let's unload that, grab that. I actually just want to check if what I just said was correct. Um, actually, no, it's not. This is definitely an iron tier weapon. I take it back. Sharp iron dagger, that's not going to do it. But I do like that it's got sharp. I would love to learn that. I think I might go straight for Golgotha after Grit Gate as well, because I'm feeling powerful. You know, <clears throat> because getting in grit gates gonna unlock a whole bunch of uh, tinkering recipes. If I could get sharp, I would be very happy. I'm still gonna pick up these desert chrises and drop them in front of the uh, the beetle anyway. There's a cider weep in the starting village. Really? I didn't... I think you might... No, you are playing the same as me. I actually didn't notice that. Or if I did, I just ignored it. I know Desert Chris literally says it's made from iron. But I'm hoping that it's wrong somehow. Flaming Iron Dagger... Take the chem cell out of that. I made, um, I had my, I made chili con, slow cooked chili con carne last week. I had some today. Oh, uh, it was so good. I finally figured out, like, with my oven, the perfect way of making rice. Not having to do anything. No, no need to wash. Uh, the rice, no need to drain it uh, with water. Just perfect fluffy rice and it's so good. I could literally just eat a bowl of rice on its own and I'd be happy. A water skin is a hundred... Oh really? 121 drams from... A I don't remember that at all in the starting village. Interesting. I'm hoping that we did uh, may I was thinking maybe you're playing like the next today's but no you're definitely playing the same as me if you've got translucent skin unless they somehow had translucent skin 
uh, Truke in twice in a row. That'd be pretty unfortunate. Alright, we're no longer lost. Uh, let's keep going. Okay, we are lost again. Take it back. Flower fields, like I always say, do scare me a little bit. The weep is top left. I somehow must have missed that, yeah. I think you'll definitely get a higher score than me then, because uh, that's a lot of money. Ah, we got a f flaming... Flaming fire snout. And a slug snout, what the hell, dude? Okay, done. We found a pig farm, which means we found a farmer. You can tell me where I am. Thank you. Hold on. Are there any more historic sites close by that we may have missed? No, we found Baylor, which is there. What else do we have here? Oh, it's just the beetle. Okay. Uh, yeah, all of us historic sites are in the jungle. Please. I just want to go. Now I'm going to make a concerted effort to clear each map that I encounter because you never know what might be hanging around, you know? Infinite money, so infinite books. Oh, good point, Frank. Dude, if you don't get number one, I'm going to be like... Man, he fell off. Man, his dick fell off. I think apparently we are friends to centipedes, which is interesting. It, I knew it was a legendary. It's a pariah, isn't it? I don't know if I've ever seen a legendary centipede nest before. Let's go chat. Are you a pariah? You are a pariah. Disliked by crabs. Loved by pariahs. You can teach me trash divining. Potentially. Yep. That's going to be great. There we go. Trash divining, baby. Divine thy trash. And here we are at Grid Gate. We're anticipating, yeah, lots of uh, electrofuges and spark ticks. Lots of these mirth worms. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Hate that song. You're trying now, going to the still and hoping there's water skins and book binders. You could just skip. You could just like somehow rest for like a a week until the the merchant has more water skins in stock but that probably is really tedious you wonder what paul thinks of that song i think even paul knows okay this is actually where we could die because that is a gatling oh i, I can't help myself is the problem oh my god the worms dude i will try and kill that uh gatling turret 
first I have to rid the earth of the mirth worms. We have a sniper rifle in here, it looks like. This is good loot, man. I don't know what's going on right now. A compass bracelet? Honestly, yeah. Let's equip it. And also, let's grab the silver nugget. A love injector. And a rubber gum injector. And a sniper rifle. Close that door immediately. Dude, stop running! Alright, never mind then. There we go. So the question now is, do I go and try and kill these turrets? Stop opening the door, you absolute stinker. I think because of the placement of that tree, I actually might be able to get away with it. We did just take quite a bit of damage, though. Mm, I don't feel good about it. Yeah, no, we're we're not going to do it. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna leave it for now. Why risk it on such a good run, idiot? Trying to sunder me like on the stairway. What I would like to do here is, um, if we can do, um, Golgotha. And I do know we have very low AV. I'm acutely aware of that right now. Um, we'd definitely like to pick up some armor before we do that. But, um, if we can do Golgotha. And hopefully not get a horrific disease. Then, um... We can go exploring below Gritgate for a bunch of really good early loot. Well, oh, Frank, what happened? You're about to know in one turn, but you don't think you'll even be top 10. What happened? Good luck. What do I want to rapidly advance here? It's a, I had I had trouble with assault hopper today as well. Funnily enough, um, if I rapidly advance horns again, it means we can get it to level sixteen. Um, that could be pretty good. Should I rapid advance horns? I actually don't know what to do here. I think I will. We don't have to worry about horns anymore. We do have an attribute point as well, so... Uh... What do we want? 22 toughness could be nice. Anything here that we're interested in getting... Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, weak spotter and dead shot at some point would be really good. Oh, we wanted multi-weapon mastery, that's right. Um, for 150 points. Can't get it just yet, but let's go... Let's go toughness. Like I said, it takes us from 89 to 104 HP, and it's basically retroactive, so... Because we can do strength and agility with uh, multiple arms and double muscled. Um, I 
Yeah. Let's go double muscled here. For extra days chance. And then we save. Slumbling ain't shit. How did it go, Frank? Oh, that's that's a big It's a big decrease to our A V that. Sorry, our D V. Tricky. Do you have any uh Witchwood bark or any salve injectors? What the hell is that going on over there? Ah, more infiltrators. This is good. They give quite a bit of XP. There might be Pewter's Templar here as well then. That's the case. Yep, there's one literally right there. Dude, stop throwing grenades at me. He threw a fire grenade and then a frost grenade. That isn't a very uh, smart play in my opinion. Okay, a steel shield. That's nice. I don't know if, if it's worth unequipping one dagger and equipping a steel shield. I actually think that might be worth doing. Here's, here's my, my reasoning. Let's unequip the steel butcher knife because I think we might need that. And then I'm going to go and take off all of these bucklers for now. So our, our, um, our DV goes back up now to 10. Let's see how that works. another iron an iron buckler this time a scott the the dv sorry the av is too much i don't want to take minus three av like that i know it means having more wait are you not disassembling why are you not disassembling have i have i not have I got it switched on wait do i not have it am i an idiot did i think that i bought disassemble no, I do have disassemble. Why are you not disassembling then? I'm I'm a little bit confused. Does anyone know why this might happen? You're jammed in a one block tunnel with mosquitoes on both sides. On each side, one is a salt hopper, the other is a turtle. I think you might be in exactly the place I was at earlier. I've had I was in that exact situation, I believe, today. I managed to flee from the salt hopper, but if a mosquito moves, it'll kill you. Oh man. The turtle's gonna be a pain to kill as well. Ooh, we found uh, some ruins. Hey, Discosito, how you doing? Long time no see. Yeah, why are we not disassembling here? What is going on? Can anyone explain that to me? Good to see you. You got 180 points. No, what level were you? Is this a bug? I think this could be a bug. Where am I missing? I'm not missing any. There's nothing toggled off here. We are not disassembling any of our scrap. And we do have the ability to do that. So why why is that happening? Look. Am I going to have to do it like this now where I mark I can't even mark this as scrap. You were level three. Oh, Frank, rip, dude.
fuck's sake all right well that's why that wasn't doing it 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 was <laughs> it was turned off in the option somehow oh no and it's done this again we had this bug before last lo on monday do you remember shit fuck i'm gonna have to alt f4 no fix the game <laughs> Yeah, the escape button stops working in the menu. That's really fucking annoying, man. It, I wonder if there's a way for us to somehow untrigger that. It's going to set us back a little bit. God damn it, dude. Oh, you're not dead yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so that is a bug I need to keep in mind here. You made it, dude. Well done. I'm going to restart my game here. That is really annoying bug. Um... Exit game, yes. Well done, dude. Alright, let's relaunch. Let's see how far back that might set me. I don't think it will set us back too far. Alright. All right, shortbread. Okay, so we do have to do all of Gritgate again, which is super fucking annoying. Um, but you know, this is a beta, so let's not complain. Also, let's just make sure that that option is... Yeah, automatically disassemble scrap. And we actually managed to get out of the menu that time. Incredible. There we go. Oh, big hit there from uh, Slumbling. Now they're dead. Okay, yeah, I have I. Okay, I don't have the shield equipped at the moment. I'm gonna preemptively unequip all of those bucklers. Because we're about to find a steel shield somewhere. I don't remember where, but somewhere. Okay, here we go. Do we want to do horns again? I think we do. Or we could do multiple arms. I think it goes up by like 3% every time. So rapid advancement would mean level 13. I don't know what percentage that is to hit with your offhand, but that could also be really good. I think actually I'm going to do that. I think that'll be worth it in the long run. I'm doing it. I'm seeing the matrix right now. All right. What did I, I did toughness, didn't I? Yeah, let's do that again. Multiple arms we don't have to worry about now. So let's do, uh, let's do horns this time for one extra armor value. We are lacking a little bit. Okay, let's go downstairs. There's so much stuff, dude. Kill the squire before he can throw his grenades. Let's equip 
the steel shield in this hand why not there we go we got a block there will take us up to I think 8 AV right now okay here's the infiltrator I want to kill this there we go got it We're being double sundered, I believe. No, we're not. Okay, it was just an uh, audio glitch. I was panicking then. If we were getting double sundered, that would be real bad. The worms, dude. You ever seen the bobbit worms? They are terrifying. Okay, found a settlement there. You remember on the on the run up to getting all 100 achievements? Do you remember how hard it was to get those final villages? That was really something. I'm getting really, like, worryingly attached to this run. Uh, I never care normally at this level, but this is the most OP start we've ever had. I can't believe it. Okay, we do have a slug snout down here. I can smell it. I'm going to let somebody else deal with it. And I'm going to stand here. Okay, another slug snout up here. I think we're at the point now where we don't have to immediately go into panic mode when we see their uh, slugs shooting across the screen. I think we're fine. You made it to the stilt. The last four or five achievements were tough as hell. Yeah, they really were. Uh, where are you sitting at the moment on your achievements, Frank? I imagine you're, uh, you're, you're starting to get up there now. What have we got here? Stun gas. I'll take it, sure. You got 53... Wait, you got 55 slash 30. What does that mean? You made it to the still. Nice. You forgot how deadly getting lost in the canyons was. Yeah. Yeah, those salt hoppers, man. And honestly, the chameleons. Early game chameleons mess you up as well. Alright, we've made it to, uh, to Gritgate here. You have 55, missing 30. But how? Because there's 100. I don't understand. Unless they're hidden achievements. They, yeah, they're probably hidden achievements, right? Okay, my name is Shortbread. Please, uh, please let me in for the purposes of trade. AKA, give me all of the ammo. Please, Mafeo. Yeah, you're definitely past 50% then, man, if you've got... Yeah. I would love this, but we can't wear it. I almost bought it, just out of sheer, like, muscle memory. Okay, we want one of these. Ooh, what is this? 1900. Refractive six-fingered could be really good for us with our current build. We can get two agility out of this. Uh, this is level one, right? Yeah, we're buying that. Holded carbide longsword. All right, we don't need the pickaxe. 
Yeah, yeah, good stuff. All right, cool. Um, freaking bear meat, man. It wastes so much. I'm keeping these daggers for now because we do have that beetle quest. Here we go, perfect. Honestly, right off the bat, I kind of... I know it's probably going to be kind of wasteful to use six-fingered on a pair of boar skin gloves, but um, why the hell not, you know, if we can afford it? Which I'm not sure that we can, but... Let's do it this way. This is much easier. <laughs> um, we actually have no number three bits. Are you kidding me? Um, I can disassemble some stuff. I would rather not, though. We have pump shotguns. Let's do it. I, I, I really do not care about the pump shotguns. They they also weigh quite a bit. I know we have a hover sled and a sphere of negative weight, but I would rather have two pairs of six-fingered gloves here. And that now puts us... That, we got one extra DV out of that. And also, where are we? We are now at 28 agility. Which is pretty nice. Hey, Praxis. Welcome back. How's it going? Glad to have you back. Uh, Praxis, this is like the most OP start to card I've ever had in all of the hours I've spent. Um, it's insane. Um... We've, we've leveled up, we probably played like two hours of this run and we're level 15, we have like hover sleds, I've got two eaters nectar injectors, uh, I got a whole bunch of arms, I'm playing with the new uh, multi-weapon fighting here, I've got jab, it's good stuff, glad to hear you're good, what have you been up to? Alright, we are quite squishy by the way to go to Golgotha, our AV is low but our... The damage we put out right now is insane, so I am considering it. Uh, I'm going to take one quick visit back to Joppa to speak to Argive to maybe pick up some juicy recipes. A legendary feral dog, huh? I'll go say hi. Another beetle. Hold on. Uh, six sturdy items. We can potentially do this one really easily if we can get the recipe for sturdy. For enhanced prowess. I like the sound of that. Oh, a Scorpio. Let's finish this stinky... Void are off right here. Big chunk of XP from killing those guys. Working hard and taking online courses. What are you taking? How is it going? Some gargles. You know what? Let's treat it as scrap. Okay. You're learning data science. It's going well. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Data science, huh? What uh, What do you have, like, what is your... Do you have an end goal here, or are you just doing it because it's something you're interested in? Data science sounds really intimidating, but it also sounds, like, incredibly useful. Um, for a lot of stuff. Yeah. 
Okay, here we go. Here's a legendary. Uh, what do you have? What rep do you have? Hated by crabs, disliked by robots. I, I think I'm gonna kill this dog. Robot rep is pretty substantial in this game. It's only disliked though, it's not... We might only get 50 or 100 rep for killing this guy. Um, let's check our robot rep right now. It's going to be default, I think. Yeah, minus 475. Um, oops, I slipped. Oh, it went up by 90. You know what? we got a dog massacre on our hands now. Um... I didn't mean it. it was a prank bro oh my god what just hit me oh there's a freaking thingy there's a oh no i didn't see you okay good you had to die immediately right there that was one of those hurt hound things it's fine it's fine right tell me it's gonna be okay You didn't see that, chat. That never happened. Those dogs, they killed themselves. Okay. But rat, they had... They shot themselves twice in the head. Yeah, it was... It, they killed themselves, okay? Just leave it at that. You've been working with databases uh, and analytics for decades. You're a bit older. Oh, you and me both, dude. Uh, it's a very hot field right now. They enjoy the builds on your prior experience. Ah! Ah, you, oh, you enjoy that at that it builds on your prior experience. You're doing deep analysis of data and drawing insights and building machine learning models. Ah, I see. So you're taking you're taking raw data and you are finding uh, a, a way to 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 program some kind of problem solving uh, like machine learning type thing. Double gunshot suicide like Gary Webb. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's a reference. Um, Alright, yeah. Let's quickly go back to Joppa. <laughs> Please, and make life simple for once. Ooh. I'll, I'll, I'll kill you guys. You might have a legendary... What do you want to call it with you? Chrome Idol. Also, the... Um, you know, there's a, the British guy who was in the security services. He um, he he put himself in a um, in a suitcase. Okay, there is a legendary Chrome Idol. God, I'm good at this game. Um, hated by Dromad merchants, but loved by robots. Ooh. I mean, I knew I knew really he would be loved by robots, but. Uh... Maybe I don't want to kill you. Please uh, move over here so I can pick up that silver nugget. You know what? Yeah, you can live, my friend. Although you are very fast, I may have to kill you. I don't think I can outrun you. I'm hobbled, that's why. I'm also famished. I I'm going to have to kill this guy. God damn it. Still, at least the Dromads like us a little more, right? Alright, let me cook. Let me cook, Chief. CIA award for journalistic excellence. You almost got killed by aggressive worms at the stilt. You're trying to upskill. Plus, it's fascinating. Oh, well, you know what, Praxis? I'm really happy that you found something that you actually enjoy. And that, that is actually going to be, like, really useful for you in the future. Good on you. I wish I had that kind of interest in something at the moment. I don't right now, but maybe in the future something will uh, will will appear to me, you know. Am I lost? I am lost. Misa lost. Oh my god, look at all of the friggin' tumbling pods, dude. There's a chain reaction waiting to happen. 
Okay, don't destroy that dagger. You absolute gimp. You gimp lover deluxe. I don't know what that is, but... Can I kill this thing, please? Can you stop fucking spawning? Christ. Alright, give me this uh, steel utility knife. What the hell is this playthrough? Gun rack for sale. Damn, really? Shame you can't... Oh, no, you can use it. You're playing a true kin. Oh, hot diggity damn, dude. Gun rack is now more expensive to install, by the way. That was part of the new update. You work in healthcare, so being able to do things like predict who is at risk for X and Y. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... You know what, as well? That's like a really... um. It's a really meaningful thing, you know, like working. What what do you do in healthcare at the moment right now? Mm, gun rack. Yeah, we've been playing the dailies praxis. I've um I've made like a new YouTube channel for like uh non VOD content and the dailies have been a big part of it. Um And I guess Frank and I we have like an unofficial uh competition going on the dailies this is a scary map by the way oh ouch e oh please stop shooting me what if there's a chain chain gun turret here it's gonna be bad news Love how you can just shoot me over the top of trees. That's really cool. Really, can I do that? No, I can't do that. Still don't understand that. Interfaces. Thank you, Disco CEO, for the uh, exclamation. Uh, YT. And if you happen to look at that channel, I hope you like... I have a, uh, a CUD uh, tutorial coming. I'm currently editing at the moment. That should be uploaded either tomorrow or Saturday. Um, so look out for that. All right, I am still lost, dude. Please. Just want to go to job. I mean, I'm an idiot. I have a friggin... I'm so sorry. Everybody's probably screaming. Use your recoiler. I'm like, okay, but I'm an idiot, okay? Be nice to me. Mm -mm. Interfaces, new implementations of EHR. What is EHR? Emergency Horn Ram. Electronic health records. I told you, that's exactly what I said. What did you hear? Ooh, I've like, that's going to be level two, isn't it? Yeah, you stinker. It's going to be like Firefly, that's hot garbage. You have no bits. I came here for bits. You don't have bits. When you steal those lovely bits. You're winning the daily challenge so far. Uh, I don't know. I didn't do very well today. You have more water than all of the water barons combined. You do daily sometimes, they're fun. Yeah, they are fun. It's nice to play like a character that you would never normally touch with a 10 foot pole, you know, AKA Trukin. <laughs> You've done a lot of data analysis, reporting. Ah, okay. I, I would like to get into those fields. The problem with me is that I don't find data inherently interesting unless it's something that I... Unless it's in a field that I find interesting. Which is probably obvious. It probably is the same way for everyone. But the way that my brain works is uh, just pathetic, to be honest. And I've always got, like, chronic brain fog, ADHD... 
smooth brain going on, you know? Um, and data just... It fries my brain so much. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna go and try and do... Um, Golgotha. If we die, I will be sad. But also, I... I, I will be... Reinvigorated by such a incredible run, you know. You don't have any containers to carry the drams you want to complete anyway. Damn, somebody's rich. Are you the only one to pour out extra liquid on people in villages? I actually like to take my time in Golgotha. But with our armor value, it would probably be a bad idea. Um, I do hit incredibly hard right now. Um, so, I don't know. It, it, we'll, we'll see. You know what? Actually, I'm going to just explore this flower field here. There are Equimax here. I'll probably slaughter those guys. Um, I want to know how much XP I can get from Equimax. What kind of a tinker are you? Rifle turret, okay. 175 XP. Not bad. There are hostiles nearby. A bit worried about the jungle. But there will be no goat folk here. Okay. So, I'm going to eat. I'm going to pick a hole. Anybody got a hole preference here? Or should we just jump down any? No book binders to be seen. Damn. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with this hole. I very rarely go bottom southeast disco. You're we're on the same page. Whee Alright, we picked oh no. You know what hole we picked? We picked the worst hole. Let's be quick. We picked shoot crab. Well, that's okay. Because there you go. Now we just hold these guys off for as long as we can. Let's see if Slog comes to us. Let's try not to get ill. Like, with this stinker. There we go. Level 16. Let's take... What shall we take? What do we want? What do we take? We want multi-weapon fighting. 50% chance. Which actually, with jab, is going to be insane. Because look. Whenever you make offhand attack with short blade, you immediately make another attack with that same weapon. So th that 50%, we make t twice the attacks, which is cracked. There's also an infiltrator here. Very cool. Now, I do like to explore down here because of the sheer amount of scrap. Hold on. What shoes? Oh no, I can't. I've got hooks for feet. Never mind. I was going to say, what shoes do I have? I need to take a chest with me. So let's grab this. No! Shit balls. Stinky cock. I, um... I've got a sore throat, guys. That was... I should have stopped. I have a terrible habit of just clicking forward. Uh, luckily, I think. No, fuck. I already spent my points. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Please. 
<laughs> We're not smart enough. If we had this, we could treat it right now. That's fine. Glot rock might not set in. I think we, I think if we can just grab the way droid right now. We grab the way droid and we um, get the hell out of here. We go back to the stilt. Um, sorry, back to grit gate and we do have a recoiler. Uh, we can we can treat it before it sets in. Copium, <sighs> heavy dose of copium. Yolo factor times ten. Easy Golgotha. So physic is the new name for medicine. It's the same thing, it's just medicine. Uh, a puddle of cloning draft on the floor in the desert. Damn, is it salty? Can you pick it up? Where the frick's the way, droid? I swear to god, if slog comes out right now, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, there's the way, droid. I would love to... to I mean, we have to, uh, slogs right here. There we go. We are knocked prone right now. It's fine. Slog, you had it coming, my dude. Or I don't, I don't know what you are, but okay. I do not like the days. I have to remember my armor value is pathetic right now. Um, let's just eat some of this and start moving away. We're gonna die. I forgot that we are. Um, we are actually going to die. Shit. Um. This was a good run, man. Hold on. We're waiting. We can't sprint. We're poisoned as well, which is really bad. God damn it, man. Why did I fight Slog with 6 AV? That was so stupid. I've... <laughs> I have no choice now but to fight until confusion wears off. We can't heal. What can we do? We can't really do anything other than um, engage. Problem is, Slog can uh, knock us down and uh, and stun us, and unless we get some really good hits in, can't run because we're waiting right now. Yeah, like if I try, yeah, can't do that while waiting. <sighs> well, here we go. We died from poison, of all things. I knew, as soon as I saw the poison, I was like, you know what? That might be the thing that tips us over the edge. That was a good run, though. This is a very self-contained stream, which I'm actually not unhappy about. I'm going to be proud to post this video. I'm not going to be proud of fighting Slog. To be fair, in my defense, though, we would have had to fight Slog anyway, because she was right around the corner from the way droid. So there's no way we could have really gotten out of this without fighting. Hopefully uh, anybody watching this on the VOD will agree with me. Um, but yeah. Uh, Praxis, we're actually going to be streaming Cataclysm tomorrow. Uh, if you're here. It'd be great to have you here. Yeah, level 6, uh, our armor value is a thing. I, I, I got a bit cocky, because this run hits hard, but then I... With Slog, it's a different matter, really, because they're, um, they're not really a pushover. Hold on. Actually, before I... Before I uh, go back to that, let's see what my score was. We got 71,000 points. That's actually not that much. Considering the other day in the daily, I got I was on fifty one thousand, and I only I was for maybe a fifty minute run. 
Shortbread, you were an insane... Just an insane character, like... The best start I've ever had, for sure. Hundred percent, yeah. Look, being being stunned, being dazed, being knocked prone, it, it was rough. It was a rough fight for us. That was a good run, guys. Thanks, robot. Uh I really I really gave it my all for that. That was a uh, that was a really good run. You know what? Sometimes you get a little bit happens to me a lot. I get I get a little bit cocky and I'm like, I can handle this. The start of that run was incredible. 10 out of 10. Hmm. Score is not progression. Exactly. Is your... Is it the daily... Are you still doing the daily, Frank? Are you still alive? Yeah, I will be um I'll be streaming Cataclysm tomorrow at, uh from 6 p.m. BST, which I think is about I want to say 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Am I right about that, Frank? Um you're not finding books anywhere or binders. Yeah. Keep looking. If you can get trash divining, you might find the location of a binder, maybe. Cool, if you're not on work calls, you'll be watching. Yeah, cool. And no no worries if not, Praxis. Um, there's going to be plenty more Cataclysm runs coming. Um, you're West Coast. Ah, okay. So what, are you like on Mountain Time? Or are you on um, like Calif... Uh, what do you call it? Pacific Standard? PST, right? On the extreme West... You're on Pacific. Okay. And what is that? Is that... I imagine that's probably about eight or nine hours behind me, isn't it? Something like that. For me right now, it is half past midnight. You're minus three from Eastern. So, yeah, you're about, I think, you're seven or eight hours behind. What time is it for you, Frank? Because you're East. Okay, so plus five hours and minus three. Got you. So you're five hours behind, and then, yeah, Praxis, you're a further three hours behind that. Well, guys, that was a good run. Thanks for uh, being here. I'm going to have to... I didn't realise it was this late. I always do late stream on a Thursday, but, um, yeah, I do have to... Uh, I'm going to have a little snack and uh, get ready for bed. Tomorrow I have more update on the lost phone situation. Hopefully I would have been able to return this guy's phone to him. Um, thanks for being here, Praxis. Good to have you here. Frank, thanks as always for being here, man. Robot, everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm having a blast with uh, streaming at the moment. So thank you all so much. Really appreciate it. And yeah, keep an eye out for the, the CUD. Uh, I will post it on Twitter. I mostly speak to you uh, on Twitter, I think, Praxis. Um... Anyway, take it easy, guys. Uh, I will be back tomorrow at 6 p.m. BSD with some cataclysm. Until then, take it easy. Have a good time. Be kind to each other. And I will see you then. Bye-bye.
Bing bang.